What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we were in New Orleans, Louisiana to check out Bourbon Street, get some authentic Louisiana cuisine, and to see what the Mardi Gras season had to offer. In this video, we're going to Texas, the Lone Star State, to check out the Houston Space Center and some famous Texas barbecue. Welcome to Texas! We will be staying at Thousand Trails, Colorado River in Columbus, Texas for about a week. Located an hour west of Houston, this beautiful, quiet sanctuary lies along the Colorado River and sits amid green fields and pecan groves. This campground was free for us being that we are a member of Thousand Trails, and this site included water, sewer, and electric. There is also a huge variety of outdoor activities, including hiking, fishing, mini golf, and wildlife watching, just to name a few. These deer were out all the time. Such a cool sight to see. Now, we're off to Houston. We are here at Space Center Houston. Opening its doors in 1992, Space Center Houston has welcomed more than 22 million people and hosts nearly 1.25 million visitors every year in its 250,000 square foot educational complex. There is a lot of history to see while visiting this historic facility with over 400 space artifacts, permanent and traveling exhibits, experience in theaters related to the exciting future and remarkable past of America's human spaceflight program, and all for one admission price. The experience is designed to engage both adults and children. Established as the Manned Spacecraft Center in 1961, it is responsible for the design, development, and operation of human spaceflight. Gemini 4 was the first flight controlled here, and the Manned Spacecraft Center became a hub of activity as the Gemini program ended and the Apollo program gained momentum. The Apollo program obtained the national goal set by President John F. Kennedy in 1961 of landing men on the moon and returning them safely within the 1960s. The eyes of the world were on Houston and the Manned Space Center on July 20th, 1969, as Neil Armstrong reported from the moon, Houston, the Eagle has landed. Hours later, Armstrong descended the ladder of the lunar module named Eagle, proclaiming, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, as he took his historic first steps on the moon's surface. Later in 1973, the Manned Space Center was renamed the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center after the late president and has been the heart of the Manned Space Flight Program ever since. Controlling flights from Gemini, Apollo, Skylab, and the Apollo Soyuz through the current shuttle program is the responsibility of Johnson Space Center scientists, engineers, astronauts, and other staff members. Johnson Space Center is the training base and home of our nation's astronauts and the site of mission control, where a talented group of flight controllers monitor the work of our men and women in space.
Included in the admission is also a tram tour, which takes you on an hour-long trip through the Johnson Space Center compound. The first of two stops was the astronaut training facility. The tour was able to walk an elevated path along where NASA astronauts train for current missions and where scientists and engineers are developing the next generation of space exploration vehicles. The operations at Johnson Space Center include the development, production, and delivery of the space shuttle orbiters, the testing of spacecraft associated systems, the development and integration of experience for human spaceflight activities, supporting scientific engineering and medical research, the selection and training of astronauts, and the operation of human space flights. The second stop of the tram tour is a warehouse built to house one of only three decommissioned Saturn V rockets. After a few decades sitting outside within the elements of weather, the city of Houston put forth a sum of money to restore the rocket to its former glory and to build a warehouse around it to preserve this historic piece of human spaceflight. This was an incredible sight to see and is indescribable of how massive this spacecraft really is. For more than 40 years, the Johnson Space Center has been the world leader in human spaceflight operations for NASA. Independence Plaza is where a real 747 jumbo jet and space shuttle Independence is on display. Definitely a cool experience to be able to walk through an actual shuttle once used in human spaceflight, as well as a 747 restructured and redesigned for the shuttle to land from a spaceflight. After Space Center Houston, we drove towards the center of Houston to the Pit Room. As seen on the TV series, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, the Pit Room cooks and serves traditional Texas barbecue all day long, seven days a week. The heart and soul of the pit room are two custom-made barrel-style offset smokers made by All Out Fabrication in Stafford with a vertical sausage cooker sitting adjacent to one of the pits. The meats they use are of the highest quality. All beef is USDA Prime 
and all pork is a heritage Berkshire Duroc breed, ensuring the best is served to every customer. The brisket, pulled pork, chicken, ribs, and even Texas red chili was amazing. This place was a gem in the middle of Houston. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for all the love and support. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your thoughts and comments down below. I'll see you next time. Going for a car ride.